Hello, my name is Talha Akezi. I'm from the George Mason University. And hi, I'm Chris Erickson. I'm from Harvey Mudd College in California. And together, me and Talha are working on the BIRD project in Professor Drew Bagnell's lab as part of the RISS program at CMU. The motivation for our project is to get a UAV to fly through a densely cluttered environment uh, such as a forest autonomously. So the way this process works, uh, the drone rece is receiving a constant visual feed from its forward-facing camera. It uh, then calculates a set of monocular features from this that it uses to predict depth. And once it has its depth estimate, it then projects these depths onto a point cloud where it tries to find a collision-free trajectory. And then it follows this trajectory using receding horizon control that Talha will talk about. Initially, this project used only a reactive controller, which was myopic and didn't involve any planning. This summer, we've helped with uh, getting the receding horizon controller to work. Um, but a missing piece of the puzzle was that the UAV didn't know how to follow, the tra follow that best trajectory. Um, I've been working on perception part, which involves uh, training the monocular features against uh, depth we get from a stereo camera um, in order to train a predictor that, that can predict depth in real time. Um, so some of the features we're using are intensity information, as well as edge information and or oriented gradients and things like that. Um, and probably the more useful uh, depth from motion estimates, like optical flow, keeping track of how objects are moving in subsequent frames. I also wrote the command and control interface for the project. Some safety switches, such as land, the status menu uh, to check different nodes that, are, that were running on the system. I also wrote a lower level flight controller. Um, that decreased the problem into a 2D problem. Um, in addition to this, each of these features has a non-trivial computational cost, so we have to figure out which, which features we want to use um, since we, we want to fly fast, so we can only spend so much time in feature computation. So very similar to how we're doing depth, pre depth prediction, um, we use linear regression except in a greedy manner where we choose one feature at a time that is most correlated with depth. So this has been an iterative process. Uh, we've been adding more features over time than testing them on a small ground-based rover to see how the vision system is performing. Um, but now that we have the, the drone working, uh, we hope to actually test the full system on the drone relatively soon.